Good evening. There's a severe weather warning across the west of England tonight, with snow falling in Somerset right now. Bristol, parts of Wiltshire, Gloucestershire and the Forest of Dean could all have several centimetres by morning. All school transport has already been cancelled in Swindon tomorrow and 40 schools shut or closed early in Somerset today because of the forecast. Drivers were advised to leave work early because of the conditions and Scott Ellis is at the Regional Control Centre for Highways England at Avonmouth near Bristol where they have cameras on the roads across the west so we can see exactly what's happening. Uh, Scott, how is it looking? Well, this is very much the eyes and ears of the network, as you say, for the motorways and the trunk roads, or the major roads in the southwest. If you call up in distress from a motorway, the call is handled here. They have highways officers out on snow patrol as we speak. And, of course, as you say, they have that bank of cameras there. And just looking at them, you may pick up some rather grainy, uh, snowy pictures. They are further south, round about the Bodmin area. I think it's fair to say everybody in our patch uh, will have got home this rush hour, perhaps without uh, hitting any snow at all but that's going to change because the weather in some of those pictures is heading our way chris regan uh, is from highways england chris just give us a picture of how the day's gone so far so as for as forecast we've seen snow move up through devon and cornwall um it's hit bobmin area uh, in particular uh, quite hard we've seen some some quite significant uh, snowfall there it's now moving over towards exeter um, in around Holden Hill uh, and as forecast is over the next few hours uh, is going to move up into the rest of the region. So what's the picture uh, overnight in our patch and indeed in the morning? So the forecasters are telling us we're expecting somewhere between one and three centimetres of snow quite widespread uh, across the region. Um, obviously uh, temperatures are going to be very very cold with that um, so something we need to be very very uh, careful of uh, through into the morning into the rush hour. Uh, we're working 24-7 um, as you would expect. We've got a fleet of 60 gritters operating but you have to know where to go, don't you? So you have your own vulnerable spots in our area. Which areas would you say are most prone to problems with the snow, the sort of problems we're seeing in Bodmin in our area? So up on the high ground, so we've, we've got a number of locations where we work um, with... Uh, with local communities and partners in particular to, to manage those particular locations with additional equipment. And the roads uh, in our expect. area, the A303, the 417? Absolutely, 417, 419, uh, but obviously the, the motorway network and the, and the major A roads that we're responsible for, we've got you know, 60, 60 plus service vehicles out there working 24-7 to treat the roads. Is this um, a beast from the east though? Necessary. I don't think, I wouldn't describe it as that, Scott. Um, what we're seeing is, a, is an event as forecast, probably about 12 to 15 hours in duration. Uh, the forecasters are telling us about 0300 this morning, 3 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning, um, this would have moved through. Uh, next challenge for us is just to make sure uh, that the, the ice on the roads is, is, is well managed as we move through tomorrow rush hour. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Of course, you can get your traffic information from BBC Local Radio and Highways England Southwest have their own Twitter feed too. Okay, Scott, thank you very much.